Hello, everybody. Getting the game booted up here. <clears throat> I hope their next game doesn't have as many prompts, you know? Does this have like four of them or something like that? Anyway, so <clears throat> we're going to resume. We should have our our warm buff, and we should be ready to go. And it should be nice outside, because that's where we left off. And I hope it stays this way <laughs> for once. <laughs> well, not for once, but, you know. I don't want to go down too quick, I suppose. So, uh, oh, we got a maple sapling here. Do we have room? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I can eat something. That was almost... So this is the third rope to go up. You know, you don't... You don't have to go the long way that we went. Um, but if you go up this way, then you most likely have to go past a moose, although there shouldn't be a moose down there because the moose was uh, spawning. We walked past him on our way in, if you recall that. So, <clears throat> yeah, we are overweight now. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do here. Let's see how much... Oh, we're not much over at all. So, actually, we can just drink one of the uh, teas in our thermos, if I can find it. <laughs> it's been a long day already. <laughs> so I have time to do these videos now because the uh, we're still snowed in. We have electricity and great internet, so, and food, water, I mean, what more could you ask for? Snowden in the Rockies, cozy fireplace, great internet, electricity. I don't know, man. Sounds good to me, right? Actually, let's go here. Clothing. Didn't I pick up? Did I? Did I miss the crampons? I must have missed. Oh, I must have missed picking up the crampons. I was just about to put them on. Oh well, we can make crampons. Where are they? Right? Aren't they down here? Improvise. Maybe it's here, right? Yeah, so we'll just we'll just have to make our own unless we wanna I don't wanna go all the way back. Like I mean I could climb up all the way all the way back up there, but it's a great weather, so we're just not even gonna mess with it. <clears throat> Forgot the crampons. And there's a backpack there, so I'm just gonna take a quick little detour and see if there's anything that could make us overweight. <laughs> Let's see, what else do we got? Anything? Nothing there. Alright, well. Now this, you gotta be a little careful. There we go. <clears throat> I was gonna say, yeah, you gotta come up this way. Or if you, I'm sorry, if you if you do come up this way, you got three ropes to climb up. Uh, if you want to go this way to the mine. So you're, you can use a stem, you know, on your last one or whatever. Oh, look, snow's starting to come here. Let's see if there's anything we have here. We're not ready to break out the bow quite yet. We have one more um, rope to climb down. So since we had great weather, the long dark wants to... Uh, nah, let's change that up on him. Don't give him too much of great weather. It's starting to snow a little bit. We're getting into the afternoon. From here, we're going to head to the... Uh, Birch Bark Forest, and then we're going to go right to Timberwolf Mountain, and we'll climb up that rope there. We think we have two ropes we got to climb up once we get through the cave. And the cave we're going to go through, if you did not find the uh, Spelunker's Lantern in Keeper's Pass South, uh, it could be in one of the in the transition cave here. <clears throat> I've only ever found it in the uh, Keepers passed south, but that doesn't mean that it wouldn't be in other places. We just didn't make it that far in the last run. We actually died about, what, about right? We didn't even make it, I don't know. Must have been over there somewhere I died. From extreme cold, because I wasn't being safe. Now, there shouldn't be a moose right here. you got to watch yourself with this area, because this moose can like be right here behind all this stuff. 
And if you're coming this way, how many sticks do we have? Oh, we need to pick up more sticks, yeah. We need a moose anyway, but we're not going to hunt one. I was thinking we might hunt one if um, he's in Timberwolf Mountain. I might just decide to get him there and then just take the hide back with me and leave the guts and everything just outside the uh, Timberwolf hut there. Mountaineer's hut. Okay, so this is the way. Usually you're not going to see any wolves until you get further down that way. Uh, if you're doing the same route I'm doing, kind of a roundabout, uh, long way up, get some saplings to the gold mine, come back around, head to Timberwolf Mountain Summit. You're going to want to uh, just keep kind of curving to your right here. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. And let's see, is there any? I'll get some rose hips. I think there might be a cave up here. Whenever I've come this way, though, there's always been really bad weather, so I just kind of miss it. I don't even attempt to go in it. Which, if I had came down there, and at last, you know, last time we died, right? So, if I had made down the rope, I could have ran this way, and then just hug this and come into this cave. So, we're just gonna come into this cave here quick. I'll probably drink another rose hip out of the thermos to get another warm buff. So we're taking advantage, kind of taking our time a little bit. I don't think that there's anything in here. Doesn't look like it. Nothing in here. No. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> let's get moving here, dude. All right. They walk slower in the cave for some reason. I just, I don't quite understand that rationale, but maybe it's slippery? I don't know. Could be slippery. It's heated from the ground, right? And maybe, you know, some moisture comes. So, okay, so you just want to kind of hug this way a little bit, and then you'll start to see the birch uh, bark forest up this way. And then I usually go this way around. Okay, so we're going to pick up a lot of birch bark. And then we may have a, a birch bark uh, thermos here pretty soon. Oh, I said I was going to drink another one of those things. I forgot here. Okay, so let's get this. Transfer, transfer, transfer. Give us another warm buff. All right, let's get going. And it's getting warmer out because it's uh, getting into the evening, which is perfectly fine with me. The snow is starting to increase very slowly. It can take as long as it wants to. Even if it does get in a blizzard right now, I know exactly where I'm going because I've been this way uh, probably about four or five times total. Um, so I just keep following the birch bark is all you do. There's some on some inclines here. I can't believe I forgot the crampons. <laughs> That's okay though. We'll just we'll just uh, we'll make our own. Excuse me. Alrighty. Yeah, I have my bow out just in case, but there's really... There aren't going to be any wolves until we get a little bit further on. So... But you never know, right? And then there should be, is that the, is that the end of it? I don't know. No, there's more over here, yeah. <clears throat> so you grab those and then you just kind of hug this and come over to this way some more. You can hear the wolves. Maybe you can hear them. We're getting a little bit closer to them. I don't think I'm going to expend a match. I might just do some target practice, quite frankly. I don't know. I don't like expending matches. I'd rather expend an arrow. <laughs> Let's see if I can get my practice in. One one guy commented on uh, the second video in this series, and I was telling him you can practice aiming by you take your aim and then you just you kind of walk around like this and backing up and going forward, and you just want to try to keep that centered there. 
and then you can use that to try to help with your aiming on your mouse and your uh, arrows and stuff because the the uh, wolves are gonna you know they do things that normal wolves don't do like they don't just try to run around you um, um, they'll try to run around you a little bit but not much there should be some cattails down here as well how are we doing on those we got 14 I don't know what's up that way. I haven't really explored. We will come back to this region. There's a lot more to check out in this region. Uh, there's a hut that we can check out. The birch bark's pretty much done. We're, we're past the birch bark forest now. So, And it doesn't matter if we're heavy. Uh, once After we get up to the summit, it doesn't matter if we're heavy because uh, we don't have to use the ropes to go down. We can literally go down the mountain. It's not uh, that. It's not bad at all. So we'll show you. I'll show you that once we get up there. Okay, now we're starting to get into where the wolves are. There should be some wolves kind of over to the left, over that way. I probably won't have to engage any of them though, because I don't smell. But I'll just be prepared to. There'll be a little pond up here where there'll be some cattails growing. And then see sometimes the wolves are they're kind of over that way a little bit. And maybe where I'm pointing here over this way. So we'll just keep an eye. We got some little rabbits here. Yeah, since I don't smell, they're not going to be coming this way, so. And even if they do, maybe they'll get that rabbit. Okay, uh, yeah, so not many cattails, right? Um, so we have, what did we have, like, what did I have, 15? Yeah, now I have 15, so we'll just get five more. And I'm not going to drink another uh, tea because the cave is just literally right behind me. Uh, one more. We need to find some place to escape this cold. And then we'll leave the rest. All right. Yeah, when I'm traveling around, I like to have 20 on me. Some people say 10 or 12 or something, and I'm just like, nah. I'm going around. I like to have 20. I never know. You never know what kind of a bind with weather and whatnot you're going to get into. So, All right, so we have this. Put the bow away. And we are headed into the cave to Timberwolf Mountain. We will exit out where the deer clearing is, if you know that area. Which is one rope up if you were coming from the Mountaineer's Hut. You have to climb one rope up to get up there. So we already decreased our energy de uh, degradation by one rope. I still can't believe I, gra I didn't grab the crampons. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to put them on. You know, so... I'm just going to get what I need here, and I'll probably drop what I need to drop uh, at the entrance of this cave in Timberwolf. Because that's going to be the closest for me to come get it. I don't know this cave that well. So I might... I don't even know. We'll, we'll, we'll come in this cave again. We'll eventually get so settled and we'll be thriving so much that we're essentially just going to get bored probably around day 250 or so and then it's going to be time to just really go to other regions and just really comb stuff and I mean we'll have the top of line gear we'll, we'll be just fine okay so is this the other side of that I don't know yeah I just don't know this cave that well okay we just got a piece of coal <clears throat> I 
So let's go this way. I'm so glad I went for the Spelunkers early. Ugh. Because the other lanterns burn through your oil. Like, they go, they go, it goes pretty quick. So. Alright, we'll just have to check our weight. <clears throat> it's in the afternoon, so we should be able to just keep going, but I'm still going to drop <clears throat> some stuff here at the entrance. Okay, so we're about to get into Timberwolf Mountain here. Before we get too close, right here, I'm just going to drop some stuff. Okay, how are we doing on weight? <clears throat> we are going to sleep and we are going to eat. All right, so we got to keep that in mind. In terms of eating, we have cattails, and then we have uh, bannocks we can make. Hmm, do I want to drop anything here? How much do we have here? So why don't I drop, we'll just drop like five pieces of coal, and we'll just deal with the rest. That sounds like a good plan. All right, so that way uh, is towards the Mountaineer's Hut. you got to go down one rope. Over this way is the deer clearing. This is a good place to hang out. Uh, there's a cave right over there we're going to head in. And I'm just going to keep traveling here because... Boom! I'm a ghost. He just went right through me. Some some play, people who play the long dark can't resist. They will get by some choice game and stuff like that, and they'll deviate from their mission and take some time and stuff like that, and then they'll bring some meat with them, and then they'll smell. <laughs> uh, if I was starving, I'd definitely shoot one of those guys, but I'm not, so let's just go in here quick. Is that a... yeah, that's a wolf over in the distance. All right, what do we have in here? Anything useful? I'm not taking that wood with me. I hear the wind picking up. Eh, nothing useful for us, so let's get moving. Uh, we do have to climb up one rope that way. Okay, so... We might just want to halt here and sleep, actually. <clears throat> because we don't have our crampons and... We need energy. We have two ropes uh, to climb. We can use one stim if we really, really wanted to. I don't recommend doing that unless you happen to spawn in Ash Canyon, maybe, and you just want to head up to the summit and you have a, a stim with you. So why don't we see what we can do here? I'm going to see if I can grab one of these guys just for fun. I don't think that hit him at all. I think that just spooked him. Yeah, it's picking up here. My T's are probably cold. So I'm thinking we're going to sleep in that cave, that deer cave. Alright. You, sir, I misjudged the distance. Ah, release too soon. All right, come on. <laughs> I just don't want to lose my arrows. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, so my plan is to just quarter this dude, <clears throat> bring him into the cave. Oh, too close. Can't crouch yet. I'm just trying to make it make sure it's a good shot cuz I don't let's see. I'll get that other guy. All right, you need to stop. Stop walking. Stop walking. Stop. Oh, okay. He's not going to stop. You sir needs to stop walking. Oh, he's getting too close to me. Come on. Stop walking. 
Stop walking. Oh, alright, let's see if we can get this. He'll be coming out. He has to come out, right? Yeah. Oh. Man, I'm losing arrows all over the place. I need to take a breather. Here. Right. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. And there he goes and runs. Now he's dead. See? All right, good. <laughs> okay, so he's got one arrow in him. Let's see. So I shot him. He was this guy over this way. Yes. So there should be another arrow here. And then my arrow that I have, and then the other arrow is in him. So, we're good to go. Um, we are just going to take damage because I don't think the thermos... Where's the thermos? Cold. Uh, okay. Yep, so... We're going to take damage and quarter him. And then we're going to uh, carry everything into that cave over there. Hello, sir. Take damage. It's in the afternoon, so hopefully no blizzard starts. We are about to lose our well-fed. There we go. Get a cattail in. All right. Now the wolf is going to be heading our way. Mr. Wolf over there. And the cave's right there. And I can't run. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Yeah. I wish you could turn around while it's eating. I meant to turn around. <laughs> I want to... That wolf's going to be coming this way. We well, should hear him bark at us. <clears throat> we can just cook this and kind of leave the rest of that out, out, the rest of that out here for now uh, while we're cooking it. I'll grab the hide and guts while it's cooking stuff, and then um, we'll be back. So that's what I'll probably do. I'll probably just come out here and grab one piece at a time while the meat's cooking. Just keep an eye out for that wolf over there. There used to be a bear around here, and I just I haven't seen him around. And I think that's they moved because he would come. So we're gonna be heading that way. Uh, where I'm, where I'm looking right now, we're gonna be heading that way. And there used to be a bear that would hang around there, but I haven't seen him for a long time. So, yeah, took a bit of damage, but we got plenty of birch bark, so we'll be fine. I posted another video of our property with this winter storm. I didn't make it a part of the series, though. You can go to the channel and check it out. But yeah, March 2024. The largest snowfall we have ever had since we've lived out here. I could eat anything right now. And we got a fire pit right there. Alright, let's get cooking. Literally, let's get cooking. All right. I got that. And I'm going to eat one more cattail. All right, now, yeah, do I have, all right, oh, get me to level four fire, please, level four fire starting would be excellent. All right. Now, let's 
sticks. We don't have other pieces of wood, so... Uh, where did I see? Yeah, there's wood in that other cave, but, you know, yeah, whatever. Alright, let's put these down. Yeah, I'll just harvest all these. Knife. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. 36 minutes. Twenty-four minutes to harvest. I need to find a place to rest. Nine minutes. Do 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 do. Get the one kilo ones. No, it's too small. Because I'm going to go get um, the other guys here. So, how are we doing? 140. More pieces. We're going to be here a little while. So, eat that. This. Water. We're already dropping weight, see? Alright, 36 minutes. 36 more minutes. Let's go and get... Um, I'm going to get the guts and the hide, and then I'll get the rest of the meat. I think that's a deer over... Oh, that's a wolf. <clears throat> that must be the wolf that is kind of coming after us. As soon as I grab, you know, there's the rest of the meat and the hide and the guts, so... We'll probably get his attention. I'm getting my wrist ready. And I'm ready to engage him if he wants to tango. I think I could scare him. Possibly. Nah. I thought that might have startled him or something. I guess not. You know, because he wasn't, like, engaged with us, right? So. Come on, buddy. Huh. You didn't like that thing there, huh? huh. I stepped over that and it created a barrier. Did you see that? That is interesting. Huh. Note to self, I stepped over that cedar limb, and the dude got scared. He just ran right off. I hear some ptarmigans somewhere. He's going to be coming back for us now. <clears throat> I got meat cooking, buddy. Yeah, he's coming our he's, He'll be coming our way. Yep, there he is. Because now we smell, so. All right. Should we try this again? So you want to... Um, pull the pull the arrow, and then you just want to you you kind of want to back up a little bit, kind of let him oh, do whatever, and yeah, I messed that one up. <laughs> uh, what did I do that I I was going up and oh I, I I know what happened. It's because I'm too tired. That's what happened. So, if you're too tired like this, you're not gonna ha you're not gonna be able to. I should probably just keep going here. But so you're not. You see, that's gonna go down quite a bit, and then I can't move around as well, and so my energy is really low. So that's what happened with that one. Okay. Uh, oh well. Can't feel my hands. Let's get to the cave. Now he is bleeding, so yeah. This is why you don't want to even attempt to engage with the wolf unless you're greater than 
because in case you do make a mistake and something happens like you know let's say I ran into that uh, limb out there and it had a different effect and it kind of messed me up as I was kind of backing up yeah so that's what happened that's what happened there yeah so that's good for me to know so then I can just be careful with that in the future <clears throat> excuse me and since we're going to sleep in here, I'm just going to drop other things that I have to cure, because every little bit helps. Okay. Alright. And this. Take that. This, that. And these will be done by the time we get back. That wolf should... Uh, he'll be he'll be dead fairly soon. I don't know how soon, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just like really exhausted. That's why that one kind of messed up. So I have to keep, I have to get that into my brain. Um, if I'm about to engage a wolf, check my energy level, not just my condition. You want to check your energy level and your condition, okay? And you want to have at least the hatchet on you, uh, but also the uh, the hammer. The hammer is supposed to be really good as well uh, for. Uh, for engaging wolves so and then since we're gonna go out for a walk I'm gonna start some water all right so why don't we start some water how we do yeah we need to start water so let's get two liters going on this guy and then we'll get oops not that we'll get one liter going on this guy and then let's go out and get uh, some more meat Now, if that wolf is around again, I'm probably just going to light a light a torch and expend the match. I don't think we'll see him, though. He's been running around because he's been bleeding. So, one thing I don't know about the wolves when they're in that condition, ble bleeding and flight, do they keep running until they're dead? Or do they stop running eventually and they just start walking again and then they die? I'm not quite sure about that. <clears throat> I might have to drop some gear. Actually, the next time I come out, I think I'm just going to light a torch at the fire. I think I should have done that uh, instead of just come out with my bow at this time. It's getting really dark. Where's the moonlight? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, so by the time we do sleep, it should be about midday. Even if there is a blizzard, I know my way up, so that won't be a problem. We'll just probably have to, if there's a blizzard when we wake up, we'll probably just have to fill the thermos with uh, heated uh, teas and then get a warm buff and then head out in the blizzard and then we'll make it up there. Oh, I can still run a little bit, but not anymore pretty soon. Okay. Alrighty. How are those things doing there? Right on schedule. Alright. We'll harvest all these and then we'll be ready. And then we'll drink birch bark tea and an herbal tea right before bed, is what we'll do. Something right. makes me feel really tired. I'll dry. 36 minutes, an hour left. Let's put another piece on. 40 minutes, 36. Grab this. Huh. Yeah, it just wasn't... That wolf engagement wasn't very good at all. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be doubting myself. <laughs> Uh, oh well. 
It is what it is. That's why you don't want to, you just, you want high amount of energy and greater than 75% condition if you're going to engage a wolf. Otherwise, expend a match is my advice. To just be safe, especially when you're doing a, a, a series like this. If you're just kind of like messing around, you know, and you're just like, well, you know, if you're just kind of messing around and you're like, well, I'm just going to practice hunting wolves or something like that, then on a lower difficulty and you don't really don't care, right? Then by all means, have a good time. But this is a 500 day run we want to do. <clears throat> so we're just going to be a little extra careful. Try to anyway. Thing is, my mouse is pretty sensitive because I got a pretty small space here for the mouse. And that's what was kind of challenging. I may need to decrease the sensitivity in order to get some better aiming with the wolves moving around. Because I had him in my sight and then I didn't and then I was trying to get him in my sight again but I wasn't moving back fast enough because I was too tired and the aim wasn't as good. By the time I let go of the mouse he was already lunging at me so oh well. All right, finish cooking this. We'll make uh, herbal tea, birch bark tea. We'll go to bed, and then we will head up the summit. Doing pretty good on time. We should be able to get the summit, get everything up there that we need, and then head down the mountain and get to the Timberwolf uh, Mountaineer's Hut is the schedule. Even if I do see the moose on the way back, which I, I won't see the moose on the way back because he's most likely spawning... Uh, down down a little ways from the bear so we won't even if the moose is there we won't see him when we get back so that's kind of the deal it, it's should we go and see if he's there uh, or not you know I don't we could always get the moose and um, um, Pleasant Valley, so. Score. Alright. Well, good news is we don't have to go out there anymore tonight. We are inside for the night. Which is great. Yeah, I think I need to make this mouse a little less sensitive because when that wolf is moving around I can move it too quickly and then I have to like try to slowly get it back and by the time I do that then he's on me <laughs> so I'm probably going to experiment with that on a uh, one of my other run one of my other runs I think I'll just start playing with it and see like if you know if this is good or whatever let's see what do we got 233 three. yeah we'll just force this we got to take that that three three let me put my bedroll down yeah it's warm in here so the fire's 80, 80 degrees <laughs> dude must be sweating. He's got to smell real bad, you know? Actually, we'll just eat this. Eat both of these. Alright. And... Trying to decide. I don't know. We'll see how heavy we are. How much we want to take up there with us. Uh, I'm just waiting for this to get done. Get that. Probably got a little bit left anyway. Yeah. All right, we need just one more. It'll be fine.
We didn't lose any clothing, did we? Okay, good. I wanna... The, the mittens will degrade faster. Okay, I'm... Yeah. Alright, uh... So we got some more stuff to cook here. 36 minutes. And then while that's cooking, we will... Uh... Craft our teas. Got birch bark. 36. Yeah, so we'll get all the birch bark crafted. We'll uh, lose some weight there doing that. Let's see what we got. Four and four. Got a good amount of water to make the teas. Just put that guy in there. Now it's time to make some teas. Then we'll make an herbal. Do, do need more herbal teas. So. I need to know if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Okay, is that it? For food? An hour? Okay. <clears throat> we can get some more torches. Let's see, how are we doing on water? Two? Okay, we can make a couple more teas. Let's make a coffee. And then we'll make one more birch bark. And then since we're about ready to go to bed, it's now time to drink birch bark. We'll drink an herbal. Is that the, yeah, there's the herbal. And we should be wake we should wake up feeling pretty good. We do need a little bit more torches. We're only gonna take ones that are really, really good. Oh, that's a good one. Wow. That might be a record for me. What's the quality on that guy? 50%? Wow. That's what I'm talking about there. Okay, yeah. We're pretty much done. We've got a good amount of water still. That, take that. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, that one's fairly decent. That's a good amount. I'm good. I'm satisfied. All right. That guy will just run out, and we'll drink the rest. Get a little bit more water going. And now it's time to sleep. Yeah, we'll, we'll sleep as long as we can here. We should wake up feeling pretty good. Should be daylight. Yeah, we are feeling pretty good. I'm going to drink again, and then we're going to go to sleep again because... I want my energy maximum. Sleep as much as we can. Yeah, so even that, yeah, well, I would... So with the stats right here, with, with this right here, that health and this energy, I would, you know, that, that that's like where you want it at right there. So, okay, how are we doing on weight? I'm just going to let these cure... In here, let me let me see if I can get. Let's see where we're at. If I get all these saplings, we're still under. We are still under. Oh, nice. Yep. Okay, we're out of here. Uh, let's fill up on food before we go. And we'll drink water. Drop that. Actually, I think I need to. I think this counts as indoors, so I'm going to move this meat to the outside of the cave. All this meat. All right, let's go. And to get our condition to keep going up, let's just drink one more birch bark. Oh, I'll drink it later. <laughs> Time to get the bow and arrow out. All right, yeah, we'll just drop these guys right here. There we go. All right, we're on our way. That wolf should be dead. <clears throat> Get some rose hips. I think we're good. Yeah, I can. Well, no, we'll leave those rose hips there. We're not going to pick up anything else until we get uh, up to the summit. 
And I do have a coffee with me, so we can drink that before we get the second rope. Okay, like I was saying, there used to be a bear lurking around here, but I have not seen him for a long time. There's uh, some canisters there that you can use the hacksaw to open. I'm not going to do that now because we are right below our maximum weight. So we're just going to keep going. We'll we'll circle back and we'll 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 get that later on. So yeah, so that bear used to be where I'm pointing here used to be kind of hanging around, and uh, you would sort of a, approach. You would approach this little hill here, and then he'd be kind of like right up on you. So. So we got a deer hide and gut securing in there, and we got meat outside that cave for food. Yeah, you can get a little more aggressive with wolves once you're level 5. If you're level 5 archery and you have high condition and energy... And you have, you know, like the hammer and the uh, uh, hatchet with you, and you have like two bearskin coats on you and stuff like that. It'll be much safer. Okay, once you get to about here, <clears throat> you're gonna want to look for these two trees here. There's more wolves over that way, so then you can just come this way. I am not going to run because I'm going to conserve as much energy as possible. Really cool that the weather's behaving. Really, really cool. There's some of those guys there. Don't have my fire arrows yet, but that's okay. We'll get to the summit, then we'll get all the way back to Pleasant Valley Farmstead. Yeah, so when you get up this way... Uh, you'd be coming from that way, but this is a little shortcut, and then so you just want to go to your left over this way. And I don't think there's any more wolves at all, because they're just like over that way. So, yeah. But I'll keep my arrow out just in case. Yeah, temperature's dropping. What time? Should be warming up a little bit. I guess it's not dropping, but it's just... Yeah, so this is a not the longest rope in the game. <laughs> so after we climb this, we'll take a coffee. We'll, we'll drink our coffee with us that we have, and then we'll climb up the other rope. I think at the top of this, there's the uh, the cave. Is what's there. You can also sleep. Uh, in the cave right before you get up the last rope. But like I said, if you spawn in Ash Canyon, say, and you were lucky to find a uh, a stem, you're not going to have a bedroll with you yet. So that I've used... There have been times when I've used the uh, the stem for that, to, to climb up the last rope. I was scared to use the stem when I first started playing the game because of the description of it. It says, once you're done, you're just going to collapse, is what it says. All right, so let's look at it. Is it here? Then you'll collapse from exhaustion, use as a last resort. So to me, what that meant, I was going to literally collapse. Like, as, as in, like, pass out wherever I was at once it was over. You know, because I took it literally. I'm an engineer, right? Like, oh, I'm going to collapse? Ugh. It should say, your energy will collapse, and it'll be in the red once it's over. That's what it should say. I don't know this cave that well either. <laughs> I'm just kind of moving along here. I'm not picking up anything else. 
I will search this guy though. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh, dead end. Can I go the other way. No predators up at the summit. I don't recommend you use that as a base. <laughs> I've shot the bear, uh, if you know the broken railroad where the hunting lodge is. <clears throat> you go to that cliff where you can climb down the rope, and then where the bear cave is. I've shot him from up there before, just because I could. <laughs> Didn't kill him, he ran off, I had to go find him, but you know. It's just something to try. We're also heavy because we're carrying a lot of oil with us too, right? And I'm also I'm also carrying tools with me. I don't really need the tools. I really I, I, I don't really need to carry them with me, but it's just kind of a habit. I do need to get better at uh, taking inventory for just like the specific mission. Right, so I don't really need to carry every single thing with me. Uh, for example, I don't really need to carry a hatchet with me. Um, if I got the hammer, I could use the hammer for the wolves, and I could use the hacksaw for cutting stuff down. So yeah, that's how that goes. Now right here, as soon as you jump down here, you can't get back up. Okay, so if you come out here and there's a blizzard, don't jump down this and think you got it but then you get lost right so you know just just uh, just be careful with that yeah now we can't get back up there so or wait can we oh we can with the uh, trunk right probably I never noticed that I just saw that tree there and I was like maybe you can use that can't feel my feet okay so I need to forgot to drink my coffee go ahead and drink that We'll get an energy buff and then we'll head up. It'll be a little slow because it's not the, it's not energy is not full, right? So it won't be the fastest climb. It's pretty cold out. I'm doing a little bit of a shortcut here. Looks like there's a deer carcass there. Looks like there's another cave there. Is that a bear cave? It might be. I didn't even take my bow and arrow out because I don't think there's any uh, predators over here other than me. <clears throat> All right. What's our condition here? Oh, hypothermia. Okay. See that warning sign on the boat by the heart, and I'm like, what's that? Okay. But we should be doing pretty good with, uh, you know, no cabin fever risk, right? We've been outside pretty much the whole time. Although we did sleep inside in the gold mine. And this uh, this one's a little longer, so we might need to rest. I don't know. It's a pretty long one, this one. We'll see how it goes. Come on, coffee, 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 coffee. Go coffee. Go coffee, don't... Go coffee. All right, I think I'm gonna rest right up here, just for a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I was disappointed again when we were going up the Ash Canyon because you get some really nice views if it's a nice day, but just in terms of timing, you know we. It didn't quite happen. I think we're good to go now, so let's go. Yep, so once we get to the top, uh, I usually just go over to the left. There's a cave to the left. I just go and check that out first. And then I make my way to the plane crash. All right. Timberwolf Summit. Just a summit. <laughs> There's only one summit in this game. Yep, alright. <laughs> alright, yeah, so the 
It's over here, so if you get into, like, if it's a blizzard, you're just going to want to go immediately left. And then you'll eventually uh, get it over here, so. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm not messing with you yet. Your time's coming, though. I need to make an improvised bedroll. Alright, come on, let's go. Alright. Oh, we got a Polaroid. I don't know where this is. Another insulated flask, another rope. Hope I can still eat this. All right. All right, that's all I'm going to take from here. Actually, though, no, I'm just going to grab the wood cuz we'll be making a fire. I need the fuel. <clears throat> Pretty sure the um Plane over here counts as outdoors. Looks like we probably might be getting a blizzard or something. I don't know. There's usually like two corpses around here. I think there's one over that way, and then there's one directly in our path. Sort of. We won't spend any more time than we need in the plane. We'll just loot everything. How's our uh, hacksaw doing anyway? 72%? Yeah, that's fine. More ptarmigans up here. Yeah, I suppose you could stay up here for a little while and get all the ptarmigans. You gotta get you gotta get your uh, arrows, though. There's that dead body there. I think I'm just gonna go up this other guy, too. He's over here. Feathers. Always need feathers. We always need feathers. Yeah, he must have been signaling up here or something. Just collapsed. There's a burdock root over there. We'll get this guy. Taking damage, so gotta get, get this done with. Get this, and then we'll get in there and we'll build a fire, and then we'll start looting. I wonder if there's any more of these guys around here, up here. I don't really see. I haven't explored every nook and cranny of this game though, so don't know. Alright, so here we go. We are in here. Now, this is where I usually build the fire right here. I got this. My 50% torch. Actually, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna grab the lowest one here. And then I'll just toss it, probably. All right. Got two pieces of coal. I'll probably expend both of them here. I'm thinking. Come on, come on. I don't need any more spray paint. I'm not gonna pick that guy up. Well, I'll keep this for now. All right, uh, it's not that cold. Let's start off with one piece of coal for now and see how we do. Could probably go out and just get a bunch more sticks is what I'm thinking instead of expending that. Have a fuse here. I think the fuses can be used for... Somebody told me they can be used for fishing lures. I have never seen that, to be honest with you. So let's get, just get close here and uh, get some warmth in us while we're opening these. Um, huh. A lot of shoes. Shoes are heavy. I know, because I've had to 
take my wife's out at the airport when the, her bag's overweight, I need and I had to ca and I had to carry him. <laughs> You're overweight. I think there's a stem I saw over there. Food. Never would have thought to look here. Ah, coffee and tea. Very good. Uh, I wanna. I think I got another birch bark. Just put that down right here. Drink it. Get the condition improving again. Get heated up. All right, better. Give me that stem. I don't want that paper. I don't need it. All right. Wonder if the owner's around. Just one can of peaches, wow. They uh shipped one can of peaches and sealed it. Nice. <laughs> uh Oh, stop with the logic. Don't use logic, you What, no pistol? Come on, dude. All right, this one's always here. It's always variable though, and what the condition is. I could use this. Oh, that's that's a that's a good one. I'll take it. I think sometime I had it like 32% quality or something. So, nah. oh, well. Now we got some hides. I don't have these memorized of like what's in what container. Some people do. Oh, that one has this, and this one has this, and that one has this. Yeah. Okay, is that all of them? One, two... Yeah, that is just four, right? Alright, so... And you do want to check over here. Could be some things over here. Not really seeing. Okay. There is... There might be some other stuff uh, underneath this on our way out. So we'll just see. So, let's see. I don't want to... I really... Huh. Alright, so here. We've got some time there. What we're going to do is, to keep this organized, why don't we just do this? I'm just going to put stuff in here that I know I'm not going to take with me. I suppose I can bring the antibiotics. I am going to put all the shoes and stuff in here for now. Is that okay? What else? Uh, I think that's good for now. Uh, I'm gonna drop these. I just I want to go grab a bunch of um. I just want to go grab a bunch of sticks real quick. Another sticks over here. Well, I could. Could I actually? Am I close enough to the fire to, to harvest this guy? I mean, I'm still warming up. Okay, how much? Okay, how much time is this going to take? An hour and 18 minutes. What do we have left on here? Okay, we'll be fine. You know what? We might as well. that. Alright, let's get this. Temperature drop, see? And then I'm going to use this fir wood to repair the hammer. There's the hammer. Repair hammer, 30 minutes. Repair hammer. Wonder if a hammer repair has ever failed anybody. Eighty-five percent. Now let's do it all the way. This will be my special hammer. All right. Okay. 
Well, we took time for that. Uh, we will sleep here. Wondering... Huh. Let's just put the rest of our sticks on here, shall we? Except for one. Okay, so what should I do now? Let's see. There's things to break down. There's things to look at. I got the... I got this thing right here. I can repair this. This ear wrap. Give us something there. These guys are at that. Oh, two wool socks. Those things are looking okay. So I was thinking of breaking down some shoes. Maybe I should just go to sleep though, I'm not quite sure. We got some reclaim wood here I can throw on there. Oh, I got another hacksaw. I missed that. Take that with us. Yeah, so if I don't have a hacksaw, I will not come up here because I'm not coming up here and not being able to open anything. I'm just not going to do that. <laughs> uh, but sometimes, as you saw, there can be hacksaw in here. So, yeah. All right, put the reclaim wood on. Okay, so we got four hours. All right, I think I'm just going to... Let's see, what do we have to cook? I'm just going to eat this. I don't have to warm it up, I'll just eat it. Do we get a cook buff if we cook it? Let's see. Let's see if we get a uh, cooking experience if we eat it, huh? It's possible, right? We'll see. I don't even know. Uh, herbal tea? Yeah, might as well, because we need to uh, gain some condition. There we go. Dump the bedroll. <clears throat> Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I did not get a cooking... Oh, I did. Cool. All right. That works. Drink that, because we're about to go to sleep. And we'll make a birch bark. Let's heat that up. Uh, I was going to make one, but... I'll tell you what, I'm going to make another one. Make a coffee. Make another birch bark. Another coffee. Are we doing on water? We're fine for water. I'll probably drink a, a soda <clears throat> when I wake up. Alright, now we're just going to go to bed. Oh, I didn't want to drink that. <laughs> Wrong button. Oh well. Alright, let's just go to bed. You ready? No, I want to eat more. Let's see, we do have to eat some more. Sort by quality. Do we have a reishi tea? I have antibiotics, so it's fine if I get food poisoning. Okay. Let's eat that. Um, this. This. That's good enough for now. Drink the rest. Go to bed. Yep. Uh, improved rest. Restore condition. Sleep as much as we can. And if there's a blizzard too, I know which way we're going out of here, so it's fine. Oh, we lost condition there, you see. It was too cold. Good thing we had the buffs, huh? We could have been almost dead right now. It's early morning. Drink a birch bark. Get some condition back. But we are freezing and we're at hypothermia risk. So, guess what it's time for? Another fire. Yeah, so here you definitely 
you definitely want to go to sleep. If you don't have enough um, uh, wood for the whole night, you definitely want to uh, beef up on your stuff there. So, and I have one. I'm glad I saved that one piece of coal. We still would have been fine. We could have run out and just grabbed some sticks, come in here, heat up the teas, like and then we could make our way down the mountain. We'd be fine, but our condition would be pretty low. We would have to make sure we avoid wolves it worked. as we're heading back to the mountaineer's hut. So, all right, get that guy, and then let's get some, actually, get this down. I don't need this. Warm up some teas. We're already warming up. And a reishi tea. Oops, not that one. We have all the teas in our thermos. Gotta remember that. Oh, well, not that one. The other one. Alright, so... I have to drop where the cheese. Those Check this guy. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that was interesting waking up freezing. <clears throat> if I had the top of the line gear, that wouldn't have happened, I don't think. Could be wrong. Alright, so now it's time to start thinking about getting out of here. Make sure none of these are burning. Alright, so let's just start getting all this stuff. Now, do I want to bring any of these with me, is the thing. Not the boots, those are too heavy. I'll bring this and this for the leather, and that's it. 1.5, 2, okay. <clears throat> so much later on, we'll revisit this place up here. I'm going to drink one more of these, get another buff. And how are we doing on torches? Yeah, so I think I'll probably just grab one torch. Get out of here. Let's get these, put these in the thermos. I do have two thermoses on me now, but that's fine. Just all right now. Grab one torch, and then we're out of here. We got restore condition and warming up, so yeah, we're fine. Yeah, hypothermia is go down a little bit. So okay, well here's the gun or the pistol. I'm gonna call it that. Yeah, no thanks. All right, let's get to it. We don't have our crampons, which sucks, but oh well. So we just want to keep going this way. Drop down. Head over here. You don't have to crouch here because it's you know it's fair. Well, it's fairly low. I guess I ate my own words there. <laughs> yeah, you see, I'm kind of skipping. You know, I'm gonna bandage this because I if I have to run. I don't want to not be able to. Okay, so from here, you can go right, straight, or left. It's better to go this way. And, yeah, it's all coming back to me. I haven't been up here in a long time. And then we go this way to the right a little bit. Then there'll be, like, uh, some ledges. You just kind of zigzag down. 
And then this I'm going to crouch. Yeah, so we have our fire. So in case we encounter a wolf down where we're going. And then you're essentially just trying to make your way over to this patch of snow over here. Kind of zigzag a little bit. And then come down here. Oh, no. Can't use my bow now. That's okay. I have my uh, torch, so I'm not concerned. Ooh, there's a sapling up there. All right, I'm going to go get that guy. I am going to go get that. <laughs> Where we're going is down that way. So, but I spied a sapling. I love my saplings. And some ptarmigans. Yeah, so that goes back towards the engine. This is one way you can come. Um, well, let's, let's get rid of that. Yeah, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wrap my wrist right now <clears throat> because we have our torches, so. I don't think we'll run into a bear. There is a bear, I think, that can be around here, sort of. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go up to where that rope is, that rope down there, and we're gonna go to the right of it, or then, yeah. And I think there can be a bear up here, or at least a wolf. I don't quite remember. Point is, there can be a predator around here. Yeah, I think I think a bear has chased me. Um, from here to over to there, so. Uh, then we'll billy goat, billy goat down uh, over this way. The direction we're facing right now is. The straight path to the uh, the mountaineer's hut. And you notice I haven't been gathering any acorns yet. These are all these um, <clears throat> oak trees you see. But I will start doing that later on. Actually, very shortly. All right. So then just crouch so you don't skip and get another sprain. Can reduce that at least. <clears throat> So then here you just kind of zigzag, um, like we did before. Trying to remember the best route here. Let's see. We go this way. Yeah. So you can go down this way, and then zigzag over here a little bit. You're gonna drop down a little bit, and then keep going. We won't have. There's a. I think that's a wolf. Yeah. There's a wolf right over there. I think. Could be a stump. Stumpy. Stumpy the wolf. He's slow. Yeah, so we can... Yeah, so if there's a blizzard, just get down that and then just keep kind of hugging this and go this way. <clears throat> yeah, so we're already down now, so we're good. There's nothing else to get down. We're just uh, Damn. Freezing. going our way here and... You can't really see, so there could be a wolf that patrols right around here, like kind of on this side. Uh, and there's a, I think that's, I don't know what that is. Can't see it white. It's either a wolf or a deer down by the fishing hut. We need more mushrooms, so let's just grab some. That's a deer by the fishing hut. Is that? Oh, that's another maple sapling. A wolf is right over there on the other side of this. I just saw him. So we'll grab this sapling here. Okay, we are freezing. <clears throat> I'm 
kind of buy this wolf, so. Oh, come on, show me what I want to see here, would you? Sprained wrist. Alright, that took a little too long. <laughs> I mean, I have my torch on me, so... But... Typically, if you're by a predator, you don't want to play with the thermos, but uh, I just wanted to reduce condition. And then I had to choose which pain to relieve. <laughs> so... It's kind of interesting how the game is kind of like... That, that, I'm sorry, that that is... I think that is not... Uh, the best thing to have in a game where... <laughs> I'm going to grab this lantern in here that we saw. What I'm talking about is... Okay, let's say you're going to drink the, um, the rosehip tea, right? Well, rosehip tea uh, is for pain. It, it helps with the pain. But... If I drink like a, you know, <clears throat> let's say I have a cold and I drink cough syrup, you know, I'm not telling my body, well, I want you to use this to repair this bone fracture. Oh, you chose the wrong one, so it didn't have the, that effect on your body. Yeah, that that's not how it works. It's just not how medicine works. <laughs> when a doctor gives medicine to a patient, the patient just takes the medicine and it has the effect of the of the medicine. So that is really bad. <laughs> and we're not going to need to make a fire in here, so I think I'm just going to throw this torch out. Because we got... Well... Actually, let's make some more water while we're at it. We have this wood here, so let's just go ahead and do it. sticks. That's why I left these here. Alright. Yeah, so of all the things that are unrealistic in the game, that one I think needs to change. Like, you take the rosehip tea. So, in other words, if I'm going to drink the rosehip tea, the fractures, the ankle sprains, and it shouldn't even come up. The That's only thing that should come up, actually nothing should come up. It should kind of like balance out you know I, I i don't i don't when i take medicine i don't say oh like if i have pain in like my foot you know what i mean my foot and my uh my shoulder or something like that right i don't tell the i don't tell it that oh i just want you to just the pain for the shoulder don't touch the pain for this uh, i i can't i don't have that power to target that i'm sorry that's just not how it works <laughs> I don't have the power. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. I'm dating myself with that music. Oh, did I miss the sewing kit? I did miss the sewing kit. Anything in here on take? Nah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, why don't we just leave? I'll just leave one of each there just to have. Right, uh, we are not going to sleep here. I don't think. Let's see what do we got going on. Weather doesn't look the best. Our energy is good. So, but we are over time. I just realized that I gotta, I gotta cut this off. Huh? Okay. Well, let's just finish making water. Right. That's what we'll do. And we can leave some water here, right? This pack is getting too heavy. Yeah, you can make them quiet by drinking water if it gets annoying. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish the rest of this water. And then we'll just take a nap, and then that'll give us the save, okay?
All right, so let's go over here and see how much water we want to drop. Oops. Let's uh, one more. All right, so we got four liters of water in here. Let's drink birch bark. Get our condition going. Take a nap, get a save. All right, everyone, we did a lot. It was a successful run. Lost condition. We lost condition with the wolf struggle. We got it back. And then we lost condition because uh, it just got too cold and we didn't have enough fuel for the, uh, for the fire. If you're in that situation, yeah, just go outside and just... Um, Probably just get a whole bunch of sticks and stuff like that. Try to get up to close to eight or eight hours or above if possible, right? So, all right, after this, when we come back, uh, we'll just take the loop back. We're just going to head right back to Pleasant Valley. And we're going to go through the uh, plane crash if the weather's good on the way back and get some of that stuff. And then we'll just get settled in Pleasant Valley. All right, everyone. Talk to you later. Take care.